Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while since I've posted. As you may know, I'm currently living in temporary accommodation and you know, so I don't have everything that I normally would have with me. I have, my schedule is all off, everything is wrong. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you get by, you do what you can. Anyway, you may remember going back a couple of months ago now, I blew up my MacBook Pro. It just died. And so I was in the market to go and find a replacement at some point. There's been much ado about the price of the new MacBook Pro. In Canada, it's like $7,000 almost. Uh, you know, definitely when, when you've got the HST or the tax on top of the, the price, like the, the top end, you're, you're at $7,000. That's insane. But as everybody knows, there was a bit of a thermal problem. This isn't a new issue. Like, I work at the office on a 2017 MacBook Pro. It also has a thermal issue. I often think that, you know, these MacBooks, they are getting throttled very, very aggressively because of the heat. And you have to ask yourself, it's like, well, why are the MacBooks designed with such a uh, poor thermal capacity you know, as far as like getting it off the chip and away. So anyway, it occurred to me the other day, I think I know what the, the problem is. These designs, they're not like just turned out each year fresh. Like, you know, these things take years and years to plan and put together and tool up the factories and everything else. And they only make in incremental changes. By now, Intel should have released their 10 nanometer chipset. Like the roadmap says that this is what was supposed to be out by now. And you know, it's been plagued by problems, but um, I think what happened was the MacBooks were anticipating that this chip would be available by now. So they've cut back on how much uh, they spin up the fans, how big some of the cooling vents are in order to make room for other things such as battery. But the chips that were supposed to be inside them aren't there. Instead of running cool 10 nanometer chips that use less power, we've got these power hungry ones that you keep having to throttle down because they're getting too hot inside the space that they're in. I'm wondering if that's really what's going on. Um, anyway, like, let me know your thoughts. If, if you think there's something different, uh, you know, but th there's definitely a want to try to make things smaller, thinner and everything else, use less material and still jack up the price. But at the same time, what goes inside is just as important as what's on the outside. And I think there's a mismatch. I think this is what's going on. Anyway, now you've heard my theory, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Alright, speak to you soon. Bye.